All right, hello everybody. This is Nick from the ArcadeHunters.com, bringing you a quick video, not so quick video, because once you see inside, uh, we're here outside Lutz, Florida, which is a little bit outside Miami. We are at 24408 State Road 54 in Lutz, Florida. And we are checking out here for the first time. This is Little Shop of Games. Um, the owner, Marshall, has been in the pinball business for a while. Uh, you know, uh, when I was uh, down in Jupiter over at the Pinball Dudes, we actually uh, used to deal with these guys. First time ever coming here to check out their shop. Um, Marshall deals with Stern Pinball, also deals with the Chicago Gaming Company, and also Jersey Jack Pinball, so you'll get to see a whole lot of different games that the guys have here. Um, they are in the middle of getting uh, stuff out, so apologies in advance. We'll go over some of the arcade games over here. He's got a beautiful Omega race. Really nice condition for Midway. And he's got a uh, Supercade by Chicago Gaming over here. And over here, it looks like they're working on a beautiful Stargate cocktail table, which is one that you don't get to see often, a Stargate cocktail. And I have to go over here to show off Baby Pac-Man. One of my favorite games is uh, when I found out that, yeah, it is half a pinball machine. I just remember as a kid playing this at Chuck E. Cheese and you could not, I don't know why I didn't see the play, pinball play field. I just remember seeing that. So as you can see, they are a Stern distributor. So they get a ton of the brand new Stern games. They got a Jurassic Park premium that's going to be going out to a new home. And here's the uh, pinball alley sign. They have these that are available on um, the guy's um, usually, uh, the first time I met the guys here at Little Shop was over at the Free Play Florida event, and they had the pinball alley sign, and that pinball, um, the little thing on there, the, yep, those are actual pop bumpers. So we're going to go through and check out the line of games they have for sale. First off, we got one of the 100 limited edition Primus pinball machines. This is a very nice one. This is number, can't see, I think it's like 65 out of 100, signed by the band. Of course, this used the Wonelli playfield that they also used for the Paps Can Crusher. We got a Star Wars Pro Comic Edition. And one of the things that the guys here do, they'll put the extra added upgrades in it, so I'll point them out on the, uh, on the camera. So. so they have the Turtles here that has um, the Invisiglass on it, or the HD glass for Stern, they call it HD glass. Stern, it's uh, or Jersey Jack, it's Invisiglass. So it's got the HD glass on it, um, shaker motor, art blades. You know, they get all the stuff so you can upgrade and customize your machine. Of course, they got the cup holders on there. Turtles just recently got that big update that um, they're going to be putting in all of the Stern games coming forward where it's going to have a pretty much like a jukebox. You'll be able to play all the different music on there. Over here from Chicago Gaming, this is the special edition of Monster Bash. So it uses the bigger sized dot matrix display that's in color. They redid all of the dots on it and it came out beautiful. We had um, one of the limited uh, collector editions that popped in and <laughs> literally sold in like a day once we made the announcement that we had it because this game, you know, has become very sought after. People want it. A nice Jurassic Park premium in the box going out to a new home. An original Star Wars Pro. Someone put a nice uh, little action figure of Darth Vader over that uh, diverter over there. Now some games here that are not for sale that they are working on for clients and some that are coming in that are getting worked on. So the Star Trek TNG is getting worked on. Steve Ritchie's game. Got be exciting to get to play this again after all the updates is Elvira's House of Horrors. The new updates on it have definitely made this one of the most sought after games. As we all know, you know, this game starts at a premium cost, so you gotta pay up for that, but you get what you pay for. It's a ton of fun. And the upgrades for the code, all the stuff they've been adding in has been making it even better. And over here we got uh, both Stranger Things. We got the premium. For the first time, I never got to show a premium off on video before because all well, the premiums sold. 
So this is the premium, and you can see over here, they put in the stern kit that adds the UV light when you get into the upside down mode. So it's really cool. All of the, like I said, all of the play fields that they print from Stern have UV ink on it. And when you get into that mode, it lights them all up. And it also has it here on the Pro model over here as well. You can see it's got the stuff along the ramp and that lights everything up. And this one even has the, um, the die on it that's the extra custom shooter rod. So before we get into the rest of the roll games, I want to show off some of the ones here in the middle. We've got a 8-Bowl Deluxe Limited Edition. Now this is the second run of 8-Bowl Deluxes. I'm pretty sure this was like the Mr. and Ms. Pac-Man type uh, cabinet that I know a lot of people say that they hated working on these machines, but they had so many of these cabinets left over. I think they decided that they wanted to run 8-Bowl Deluxe again, which... It's great because it is a fantastic game, and it's great to have. Got an Embryon. This is a nice, fun one, wide-body game. When uh, the when they uh, redo these games with the LEDs, it makes it look really, really nice. Has multiple play fields on there. I always have a fun time playing this one. I played it in uh, one of the Papa tournaments down in Pittsburgh. A lot of fun. We got one game here on uh, on a service call. We got a Jokers. As I heard, they redo the uh, they redo some of the ramps and stuff on this, so it'll come out nice. We got a big game from Stern over here. Another Stern game. Looks like it may. I haven't played this one that often. Let's see, they have all of the banners for sale. You can get all the different banners. Turtles, they got some Beatles, they got Guardians, Black Knight, got a Turtles Pro in the box, getting ready to go to another home. Oh, it's been sold, but one of our favorites from Pat Lawler, Whirlwind. Apologies, I don't have my uh, my camera grip, so I'm doing this all handheld with my phone. Beautiful white war, Whirlwind. And we got Williams Road Kings. A lot of fun from that classic Bally 80s. This one came from Pennsylvania. From the Monarch. Friend Brendan has this. It's a lot of fun. It's got a really cool music track. Really not, not going to see this one often. It's on, uh, on loan to get fixed. This is Orbiter 1 from Stern. Now you may have seen, uh, if you're a really old fan of our YouTube channel, when we went to, I think it was like Papa like 13 or 12 we had a video of this now this is a weird one that they did now this is like i think it's like recessed plastic so when you play the game the ball just goes around it just feels at random and these pop bumpers aren't really pop bumpers they spin around and they just send the ball all sorts of crazy directions they didn't make that many of this game but it is a sought after game from collectors really cool to get to see it here and you can see when they made it that, yes, it was 50 cents to start with. So they had that 50 cent premium. Here's a Gottlieb. This is a Polo. I've never seen this one before. This one's got the very target over here. And you collect it over there. Looks like fun. Got a Jurassic Park Pro over here. Very nice. The Jurassic Parks are very, very sought after by everybody. You got the Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle heading out to another home from Data East. It's got that nice mirrored black glass. This is really cool. I've never seen this before. It says Excellence in Pinball Quality, Data East Pinball. Never seen that before. That's really cool. They did a really nice job on this one. Very nice and clean. This was a game that we used to play at the Spaceplex back in the day. And another game uh, that I used to play it, and I always say this is a joke because that the man driving the car is definitely my father. This is Time Machine from Data East, the game where you go back in time from 88. I like this game because they have um, old school um, pinball chimes inside of it. So when you go back in time to the 50s and the 60s, the music in the game changes for the chimes. It's a really cool, very unique feature. Sucks that they don't put a lot of the chimes in the machines now. 
just has that old school feeling to it. And um, one of the silver um, collector editions of Wizard of Oz from from the fine folks at Jersey Jack Pinball. Over here, this game has definitely gotten a ton of overhaul with everything. It's You go back to some of the videos I played the prototype at the New York Comic Con, I think back in 2012 when they first announced it, when uh, Jack was showing off the game. And it is a totally different game to, compared to what, what we have now. A lot more stuff to do. I love bashing the... Um, the top over here to get into the doors to save Dorothy. And of course it's got along the back. He's hard to see, but that's the wing monkey that holds the uh, pinball on there on a magnet. Really cool. And very nice. One of 1,350 units of Airborne. And this was from Capcom Pinball. Mark Ritchie made this game. Pretty sure. because There we go. Because we got Mark and Steve back and forth. But this is a fun game. Uh, I've only gotten to play one of these. The Capcom games, like we said on the channel, are very hard to find. Uh, Pinball Magic is another one. Uh, Break Shot is one of my absolute favorites that I love. And, uh, of course, the one that everybody wants is the Big Bang Bar that we have the video of on the channel. We played one of the pinball reproduction ones that was pff, absolutely insane. And over here, for the first time ever, you get to see him, the topper. For Black Knight, Sword of Rage. This is the last one that they've got of the Pro Edition. I say, ladies and gentlemen, take this one home and make a call. Because the, I don't care, I still prefer the Pro Edition. I think it plays a lot faster. It is fun to have the second tier play field. And I know, hey, that's what they had in the first two Black Knights. But I don't know, this, just having the play field taken out, it just has a lot more combos and stuff like that. Really fast really fun this has the the shaker motor and it has the topper on it and i think the topper they said adds in like 85 new lines of dialogue that you can only get if you have that topper so get that check that out and a beautiful tron legacy highly sought after very nice game you can see the gentleman over here hanging out thank you guys for having me the little shop of games, they got all their t-shirts and stuff that you can buy. Very nice stuff. They got a lot of goodies. A whole bunch of stuff. They got that cool, uh, I gotta get the smaller version of that, the little dot matrix clock. Let's go over here in the middle. We'll show off some more stuff. Finally get to show a Lucy ACDC premium off. Very nice. You don't get to see Lucy too often. This was the, one of the many remakes of ACDC that they did. They just kept running this game because people kept wanting to buy it. And here's the um, extra thing that they did here in the play field. It's got the, it's got the devil girls in there. Very nice. And it's a devil of a good time. Yes. And that looks neat with the uh, acrylic um, devil girls on there. And it looks like it's got a uh, dot matrix, color dot matrix display. A new arrival, Lord of the Rings, George Gomez's Lord of the Rings. Start button's new. Plunge is new. Let's get some flipper back covers. You can know this is the original because it has the toys in it. And people, of course, went on eBay and just took all the toys and tried to buy up as many as they could. We got a Paragon, nice wide body game from Bally. Another fun one that I get to see often. Looks like they did some brand new flippers on there. One that I know that's sought after, and of course it's here for service call, so it's not for sale, is World Cup 94. This was a game I didn't get to see too often as a kid. I guess it was just because, you know, not a lot of people here in the United States are really into soccer, but guess what? It's one of the best pinball games that they made back in the day. I love the uh, the unique coin toss for the, um, for the um, skill shot that they have, the little goalie that goes back and forth the magnetic lock shot has a lot of stuff to offer awesome fun game it was great that they were able to bring it back in the pinball arcade even though they had to change the uh the name of the game and uh i think they just called it champion soccer but they had to change the dog even though i don't think the uh us athletic commission even uses that character anymore we'll get over here we got a transport of the rescue 
Jack over at Deadflip has been live streaming this game. So if you want to see uh, what the game looks like in action, if you want to buy it, check out the stream. This is a lot of fun. It's got um, really cool top play field that you have to uh, shoot the ball into. It goes up that little track and it spins in that cup over there. Here's a Williams Pat hand. Never heard of this one before. Another nice card game. Really nice. And this is really cool because we finally get to show off the topper of Dungeons and Dragons. This one came out back in the 80s. I've never gotten to see um, one set up with the uh, topper on it. I've gotten to see like two of them and the topper was destroyed on them just because of the height. And it's, it's unfortunate with a lot of the games from uh, the older eras that had like, you know, acrylic toppers. Um, I know Rocky and Bowinkle used to have the Bowinkle topper in plastic and I know that gets uh, cracked on a lot of them. Uh, Grand Lizard's gonna be coming out here. It's actually uh, my brother's uh, sister-in-law. They actually own a Grand Lizard. They have it down in their basement, but they have to get it worked on. And we'll go over here. They got some other good stuff. They have colored dot matrix in stock. They got the little, uh, the translite frames, side armor for all your machines. We got um, stuff that's folded up over here. We got a junkyard. There's a Monopoly over there, a Demolition Man. And check this out, just came in a beautiful, with the topper, Guardians of the Galaxy Limited Edition. The armor is uh, upgraded on this. Look at that. You got the Groot hands. There's Groot in there. It's got um, the little add-on with uh, Peter's... Uh, Walkman in there. Very nice game from Mr. John Borg. And everybody's been going absolutely crazy for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't blame them. And uh, we got a Cosmo Pinball. This is one of the um, pinball machines that you can load uh, games in. But I have to show it off here. It's here in the corner. But this is really cool. This is a Tron. But look where it's from. If you can see on there. Yep, it is from Disney Quest. So I want to give a shout out to Kevin Perger over at the Funk Land. He used uh, all the B-roll video from my uh, trips to Disney Quest as uh, the B-roll in his uh, Disney Quest video when he did it. So uh, what I had heard that happened was when Disney Quest closed, they did an auction and a lot of the games got sold off. So there's a couple of arcades um, all around Central Florida that have some of the Disney Quest games. So if you go and you see that um, that little credit button on it, that will be the dead giveaway that you are playing one of the games that was rescued from the uh, from the old Disney Quest. And you can see all the games they've sold because, like we said, during the whole uh, thing with the pandemic, people are inside wanting to play games inside, and games have been selling out like crazy. So right there, folks. Big special thanks to everybody from Little Shop for having me. Here's a look at the lineup of games. Make sure I will leave the information, of course, in the links below. So you guys can come over here, stop by, show them some love, pick up a game or two, get a Ninja Turtles, get a Monster Bash. Get, get that Monster Bash. Take that Primus home. That's a rare bird. It does play all the music. So it's like a, it's like you're playing a electro-mechanical, but... Uh, with all the new music. Very, very cool game. So folks, right there is the Little Shop of Games here in Lutz, Florida. I'm Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys all later. Take care.